Now let's talk about the major attack against Tor, and this attack is known as the end-to-end -end coalition attack. So how does this work? Now we already know the topology of a Tor network. You have your computer on the left, you have the internet on the right. Now you're trying to connect to the internet using Tor. What happens is when you launch Tor, Tor will generate relay nodes. All right? Now once you start your browser, your Tor browser, it will choose a random path to the internet. Now in this case right now, you can see that your initial connection goes through, it passes through the first node, goes to a second node, a third node, and then finally it goes through the fourth node, which then passes your request to the internet. Now it is worth knowing that the very first node on the Tor circuit is called the entry node. That is the very first node that your request passes through. And the final node, the one that passes the final request to the internet is known as the exit node. Remember, very, very important that the actual connection inside of the Tor network is encrypted, but that final communication between the exit node and the internet is unencrypted. This is where the real danger lies in. If a hacker is able to somehow gain access to that unencrypted information and they're also able to gain access to the initial communication between your computer and the entry node, they can establish who you are. And this can be done simply by correlating the volume of transmitted data or by comparing the times at which packets are transmitted. So this is what is known as the end-to-end -end correlation attack. This is why it's always recommended that whenever you use Tor, your initial request, in fact, all your requests should always be encrypted. You should always use HTTPS or SSL whenever you're making your initial request to the Tor entry node. So that this way, the entire communication will be encrypted from the beginning till the end. And if the final communication between the exit node and the internet is encrypted, it's going to make it a lot harder for a hacker to figure out who you are. Despite this recommendation and the extra layer of security, Tor is still susceptible. And this is because whoever is in control of the exit node of your connection can see your request. And just like the hacker, if they are able to gain access to the initial request you made to your entry node, they can figure out who you are. Remember that all these relays, all these nodes are managed by volunteers. And this is why for Tor to work effectively, the volunteers who manage these nodes have to be trustworthy. You should also know that the developers have specifically addressed this kind of attack. And taking a look at this article from the Tor blog, it says that the Tor design doesn't try to protect against an attacker who can see or measure both traffic going into the Tor network and also traffic coming out of the Tor network. The way we generally explain it is that Tor tries to protect against traffic analysis where an attacker tries to learn whom to investigate, but Tor can't protect against traffic confirmation, also known as the end-to-end -end correlation, where an attacker tries to confirm a hypothesis by monitoring the right locations in the network and then doing the math. So there you have it, the devs have specifically said that they cannot prevent attackers or hackers from trying to correlate traffic from the entry node to the exit node. So that's one thing you should keep in mind. Looks like the end-to-end -end collision attacks are here to stay. Now, while we're on the same page, let me also inform you of a second type of attack known as the tagging attack. We are basically the attacker is able to modify the initial connection between your computer and the entry node, and then can check to see if that modification exists at the other end between the exit node and the internet. If that modification is there, then the user knows that, okay, this particular connection is from the original connection that I tagged. So that way they're able to establish who you are. That's known as the tag and attack. So that's it for the major attacks on Tor. Thank you for watching. I will see you in the next class.